On this Too Sick Tuesday, you're getting in the shower with me so we can talk about shampoo and washing your hair. All right, well, let's go ahead and get to getting in the shower. Oh, did you think I had nothing on under that? Hey, this is YouTube, not only fans, which I don't have one of those, just so you know. So, we're here in the shower. <laughs> it feels funny being in my bathing suit, but we have to keep this YouTube friendly. I know the acoustics in here is echoing, but I wanted to bring you here in the shower and talk about what shampoo I use. A lot of people comment on how they love how my hair looks and everything. I thought I would share with you what I use. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this up front. It is expensive, but it doesn't take that much and you will notice a huge difference in your hair. All right, let's get started. I take too hot of a shower, it's gonna keep fogging up. Is this is my shampoo and I'm gonna show you. That is all I need is just that little bit and it will foam up your hair you're gonna be shocked how much, how little it takes. Yeah. That, all I had was that little bitty dime size of shampoo and look at all the foam. Now, I do wash my hair twice because it foams up really good this time around, but I do the same small dime size again and it really foams up the second time because it cleans it even more. All right, I am gonna get just another small, and I really probably even do smaller little, I mean, it's not that much. It's like, I don't, it's so hard it's wanting to run. It's literally a half a pump on my pump. Now watch how foamed up this makes my hair after doing that one quick. And that is just like literally a half a pump and a dime size if it foams up this much. washed and then I use I have a pump of this I do two pumps of the conditioner and then I just rub it on my hand and I put it on the ends of my hair I don't like really rub it into my scalp up around my face but I just add it to the ends of my hair and then what I do is I take my hair and roll it up I have a clip and I just clip it up on top of my head and then I wash the rest of my body and rinse it out. All right, let me finish getting the shower and then I will meet you outside the shower. So I've washed and conditioned my hair and when I rinse my conditioner out, I try to use cooler water. It just helps seal and make it your hair even more smooth, but just this shampoo alone makes your hair smooth. The next thing after I wash my hair, I use the hairdresser BB Primer. And this is the same as the shampoo and everything. And this stuff, it smells good. Not overpowering, but it is a great like floral smell. But all I do now is I take my hair and I just spray this all over my hair. And then I just take a little comb and pick through my hair. And if you see, I mean, it does not have hardly any tangles or anything in it. So typically what I do is I like to try to let this 90% air dry if I have time. If I don't, I have to just go ahead and blow it dry. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it air dry a bit and then I'm gonna blow dry it. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you about this amazing products that I have been using on my hair. I, I love and that I know you will love too. Also, this video is not sponsored by Bumble and Bumble. All right, my hair is about 90% dry. I'm going to finish it off and then I'm gonna show you how it looks. Now I get the big ones. These are the one liters. The shampoo is $75 for this one liter and the conditioner is $82. Now I went and looked to see how long ago I had bought these and it's been about seven months. In seven months, I still have that much of the shampoo and of the conditioner, I still have that much. It is expensive but it goes a really long way. Cause you saw that I just, on the shampoo, I do two dime size because I like to wash it twice because, but when you wash it the second time, it just really foams up. And I don't know if it's just because it's cleaner hair and it gets into it more. I, I, I'm not a hairdresser. I don't know anything about that, but I do know that there's a big difference between when I do it the second time, it just foams up a lot better. So I try to do two dime size amounts. I know it says invisible oil. It is not oily on your hair. Now I do have color treated hair, not the drier side, cause I have, I've always had really oily hair, but it does dry it out some by it having the blonde. But my daughter-in-law, Rachel, she tried this when we were in Steamboat and she has really oily hair and finer hair. And she said she absolutely loved how it changed the texture and made her hair feel. Before I started using this product, I would always have to flat iron to get it smooth. And now, I don't have to do that anymore. Sometimes I will just to kind of give it a great smoother look, but 90% of the time I wash it, blow it dry, and I'm done. Now, at the end of blow drying, I always shoot a cold over the top of it just to kind of seal everything in. I don't know if that works real well, but I've heard that it's supposed to work good and you're supposed to rinse your hair in cold water if you can do that. So those are two things that I do. But yeah, don't let the, the price of the product scare you because you don't use as much as you think. I love it and I had a lot of people ask questions about my hair, so I thought I, thought I would share with you what I use. You can order it off of Amazon and you can order it off of Bumble and Bumble's website. You order it off of Amazon in my links below. Those are affiliate links. I do make something off of it. If you go to Bumble and Bumble, which I make nothing because this video is not sponsored, they, it's the same price as Amazon, but you get some free samples, whatever the free samples are for the month from them. So it is your choice, whichever is easiest for you. If you enjoyed this video, you may like this video on what vitamins I take that helps my hair grow. Please subscribe. Till next time, like and subscribe.